Hello, everybody, and welcome to another mystery box function challenge. Inside the purple box, there is some mystery math, and your challenge is to figure out what that is. You can use the link in the description to try this out yourself, and when you've got an idea, come on back and see if we get the same thing. All right, let's begin. I'm going to put in a zero. Zero gives us zero. We've been starting every function this week that way. Let's try a one. Gives us negative 0.5. Okay, how about a two? Negative two. Looks like we definitely have a curve there. How about a three? And that's giving us infinity. So when I see that error, I usually think it's some kind of rational. There are a couple other situations where that arises, but this is um, where I look first. So hmm, let's um, let's keep going here. Let's go down the other side of three. So let's put in a four. Oh, way up there. Okay, so maybe this is one of those two arm ones. Let's put in a six. Okay. So I think what I want to do is just get a sense of where, if this is two arms, where the asymptotes are. I know one is at three, so I want to look at the behavior close to three. So I'm going to put in, let's say, 2.9. Oh, and that's way off the graph. So let's put in 2.5. Okay, it's definitely approaching that asymptote. And so 3.5 would be something similar up top. Yeah. And then how about the asymptote? Is it approaching x equals, or, or sorry, y equals 1? So let's go a little further out in the negative direction. Let's do maybe a negative 5. Uh -huh, maybe a negative 9. It's getting closer and closer to that one. And how about, um, let's go a little further in the positive direction. Yeah, I think we're approaching one there. So let me just do a little drawing here. So we have what looks like a vertical asymptote at this line, x equals three. And then we have a horizontal asymptote here at y equals one. And then we've got those two arms of our uh, rational equation typical for that equations such as 1 over x, but we've got a, a little bit of difference here. If it was just 1 over x, um, the asymptotes would be the axes, but it's not. Um, so what do we actually have going on here? I think the best place to start is with the vertical asymptote, because the vertical asymptote is, uh, is the bottom of the fraction. It is what gives that vertical asymptote. When that bottom of the fraction becomes 0, that's where you get that asymptote. So if it's at 3, I would want to think to myself, OK, what would I have to add or subtract here that when I put in a 3, I get 0 on the bottom? And that would be a minus 3. So if I put in a positive 3, 1 over 3 minus 3 would be 1 over 0. And that would blow up and give us that asymptote. So it looks like we've got x minus 3 on the bottom. So what do we have on the top, though? When you have an asymptote of, of 1, what it usually means is that um, if you divide the, 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 the highest degree of the top and the highest degree of the bottom, that um, they, they have that coefficient. So, so this might be x over x, for example. Or I suppose it could be 2x over 2x, but we know it's not 2x down here because the simplest thing we can do to get that asymptote of, of 3 is put in the x minus 3. So let's just ask, let's guess that, that it's just x because x divided by x is 1, and this is the line y equals 1. So that would make that asymptote happen. But let's see if it matches with some points. Uh, let's just grab some random ones. 4 came out as 4. So if we put 4 over 4 minus 3, ah, that's 4 over 1. That is 4. So that's good. How about a 2? 2 over 2 minus 3, ah, that's 2 over negative 1. That's a negative 2. Now let's just put in a 1 and check that one too. 1 and over 1 minus 2, or sorry, 1 minus 3, ah, that's 1 over negative 2. That's um, a negative 1 half. So it looks like this is checking out. And sometimes it just pays to make a guess at the simplest equation that it could be. So let's go ahead and take a look. Yeah, this is x over x minus 3, and we can graph that as well. Got those classic arms, sloping arms toward the asymptotes of this rational function. Well, how did that go for you? Did you think rational? 
let me know. Thanks, everybody.